Oops. I'm with Congressman Joe Wilson. Um, do you expect to support the president's Afghanistan plan? Will you uh, vote to... Oh my god, just a second. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, do you expect to support the president's I'm, Afghanistan plan? I'm issued a statement plan? that I uh, support his relying on uh, the ground commander's request for um, troops. And I am currently am actually on my way back to a hearing. Uh, relative Foreign relations? To, yes, with um, Secretary Clinton and Secretary Gates and uh, Admiral Mullen. And so uh, I will be uh, asking them uh, as to uh, whether they feel like the troop strength is sufficient, uh, what the, uh, what the um, significance of a, uh, the timetables would be, but I was really pleased that it seemed like to me the President indicated that it was going to be conditions-based. And so we can all hope, and I do hope, uh, that a, an Afghan surge uh, would lead, as has uh, occurred in Iraq, uh, that you destroy the capabilities of the enemy, which then uh, saves lives and, uh, and then enables the uh, American forces and coalition forces to depart the country. Speaking of saving lives, we're spending a hundred billion dollars a year over in Afghanistan right now. Right. We could probably save a lot more lives if we spent that money on health care for Americans. Well, I would tell you that the best way to promote health care is to promote the doctor-patient relationship with HR 3400. I didn't want to get sidetracked on... No, which does not require hundred billion dollars. Yeah, I didn't want to get sidetracked on health care, but, no, but the idea me. is... But the idea is right now we are spending $100 billion, and we're not paying for it. We're adding it to the deficit. Do you, there's well, no they, chance you'd support a tax increase no, to pay no, for the war. No, no tax increase. So how long because should we deficit what you, spend what you do, for this what war? What you do is that you reduce uh, taxes, cause the economy to grow, which then creates additional revenue. That, that, it's exactly what John F. Kennedy did. Isn't that what... That's what isn't isn't that exactly what George Bush did? He gave no, us big George tax Bush, cuts no, and, the, and the tax cuts the did, economy did no, the, stinks. No. What happened was uh, jobs were created for um, a record number of months. Additionally, uh, the revenue to the... Uh, we had record unemployment. No, a record no, number no, of months of no, lost no, jobs. No, that was initially... Yeah. Uh, the, you'll have to look at the numbers, but yeah, there was, it was a, like four was, years of lost jobs. Well, no, it was uh, six years of increasing jobs, and so please look up the numbers because you'll find that uh, really interesting, and you'll also see that the tax revenue grew. What was not good is that spending went up, and so the spending went far beyond what should have occurred, and uh, and it and I didn't. Then didn't vote. we find it, find out all the all the increased revenue was due to? You know, fraudulent mortgage companies and Wall Street no, no, companies. The additional revenue, thank God. That required a seven trillion dollar bailout later on. Which was also the key thing. It was caused by people having jobs and growing the economy, and then it also was uh, caused by uh, people being able to buy homes, but which people, I think is good. People had those jobs because they were able to take out five hundred thousand dollar loans, liar loans, and, and build and then, themselves a huge house. And, and we warned and the. I, I supported the initiatives that that shouldn't occur. Right. But that was done, if you look back on September the 30th, 1999, if you look at the New York Times, there was an article on that day that indicated that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, by yeah. making loans to persons less than credit worthy, uh, that this would lead to an economic problem. If you well remember, on September I do. 30th, no doubt they were a big no, no, problem. No, 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 September 30th, 1999, that actually George Bush was not president then. And so uh, that was not uh, his doing. And so, uh, the, and then of course he did uh, promote. And Spencer Backus is the person for you to get with. He did promote reforms of Freddie. Uh, uh, no, Mac, all this deregulation was definitely a bipartisan thing. Clinton's got some responsibility to take well, for it. The Republican I, I Congress we, we had to back be working then. On what can be done now? And that is, uh, we should do what uh, uh, John F. Kennedy did in 1961 what uh, Ronald Reagan did in 1981. You reduce, you reduce general taxes so that small businesses can grow. In the district that I represent, 90% uh, of the businesses, 95%, 85% of employment are small businesses. When you increase taxes, which is being proposed today uh, by the different uh, government takeover bills, that's going to uh, eliminate jobs and, uh, in fact, the NFIB, the National Federation of Independent Business, indicates 
it will eliminate 1.6 million jobs. So the bottom line is that if we're not going to cut taxes, you're all for the deficit no, spending, no, no, spending no, $100 billion no, no. a year no, in you Afghanistan. No, you don't spend so much. I didn't vote for the spending bill. That no, was $100 billion dollars in, in, I'm talking That's about Afghanistan now. But that was a trillion if, dollars. The spending bill was a trillion dollars. That's where the problem came up. And of course, now we're trying to get an accounting of where that money went to, because yeah. nobody knows where it went to. And, that, and, I'm, and you notice I really didn't bring that up first. It's wrong uh, the way that's been handled, too. So anyway, best Congress, wishes. It's always good talking with you. Thank you.